Hello everyone, great to be here with you on this Earth Day that's at the same time also the OER Day, the Open Educational Resources Day. Now let me share the screen with you and disclose to you the topic of my presentation, which is about OE4BW's three ingredients, sustainable, open and global. For those of you who don't know yet what OE4BW stands for, I'll tell you that in a minute. Uh, but before I do that, I'd like to express my gratitude to the WCET team, to Tanya for this kind invitation. I'm really happy to be with you here today and to share with you in the next 10 minutes or so my perspective on the importance of open education for dealing with the challenges um, to our planet Earth. I think it's a wonderful combination of topics and I'm happy to be able to contribute to it. Uh, but first of all, uh, my name is Mojca Drevinšek. I am an energy sector communications consultant and also an energy literacy enthusiast. Uh, I work at Consensus Communications and I kindly greet you from Slovenia. And by the way, what do you know about Slovenia? Let me share with you just some key basic facts. Slovenia is a rather small but beautiful green country in the Central Europe. You can see our location here on the map. Uh, we have around 2 million inhabitants, but still a lot of open education activities, initiatives um, are born or, in, or organized from Slovenia uh, that are really globally relevant. Before going into details about open education, let me share with you also this um, picture. It's one of the green jewels that we are very proud of. It's the Lake Bohin, the largest permanent lake in Slovenia. It is of glacial origin uh, and is located within the Bohin Valley in the Julian Alps, uh, which are part of our Liglau National Park. However, I will not talk about lakes in general or the Bohin Lake in particular, uh, but I think that uh, cherishing and protecting the environment we live in is an important part of our own individual sustainability and therefore tightly connected to the Earth Day initiative in general. As I'm sure you know, the Earth Day was first celebrated 50 years ago and it's still the day when people all around the globe uh, mobilize and address uh, some of the most urgent threats facing our environment from climate change to deforestation, biodiversity, mobility, sustainable living styles, etc. Well, I see my role at this today's virtual event to tell you that I know of another global open initiative that mobilizes individuals and communities on similar issues and this is what I will bring to the table today. This initiative is actually a global online mentoring program that's been around for the past four years. It's called OE4BW, which stands for Open Education for a Better World. And I'm proud to be part of this program for the third year now and to be able to share my experience with you. The OE4BW International Mentoring Program was initiated and is managed by the University of Nova Gorica in Slovenia and the UNESCO Chair on Open Technologies for OER and Open Learning at the Jože Stefan Institute in Ljubljana, Slovenia. And to add some faces to the institutions, these are Professor Tanja Urbancic and Mitya Jermol who are, um, so to say, the founding initiators of the OE4BW. And on this photo, you can see many faces, right? Uh, again, there are Tanya and Mitya here on the left side. And there's also me here in the first row, the second from the left. But that doesn't matter. Above all, uh, there are many other stakeholders like experts, researchers, policymakers, students, who have participated at the event titled Energy, Society and Open Education that we organized as part of the final event of the OE4BW in 2019. We like to say there are three key ingredients of the OE4BW. 
the first ingredient is sustainability. So this is about the content of the projects that are developed and mentored as part of the OE4BW ecosystem. And this content is in line with the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals. The example that I gave on the previous slide, Energy Society and Open Education, was focused on the SDG number seven, on affordable and clean energy. But indirectly, this event and this project also related to other SDGs, like the SDG 13 on climate action and SDG 11 on sustainable cities and communities. The second ingredient is about open, open education, open educational resources, open science or open in general. So all projects that are part of the OE4BW deal with creating, uh, either creating new or uh, using, reusing, remixing, revising existing open educational resources or in some other way deal with the aspect of open. And I'll give you just two examples. In 2019, I collaborated with the OE4BW as a project developer of a digital uh, online educational platform called iEnergy. Uh, that platform uh, is related to strengthening energy literacy of specific stakeholders. It was a project titled iEnergy and you can find more information about it on the OE4BW website uh, if you look under the project year 2019. But this year, again, I'm collaborating as a project developer, but I'm focusing on the on a project that will design an OER policy, which means I will not create any new OER or make use, reuse, remix of existing OER, but I will design an open educational resources policy, which will help to build a supportive environment for open education of energy communities in Europe. So this project idea originates from a European Horizon 2020 research project called Newcomers. And I'm really happy to have a wonderful mentor. That's uh, Mrs. Vanessa Proudman, director of Spark Europe. So the key existing OER around which I'll build my advocacy project is the Our Energy Platform. That's a digital platform for education and awareness raising of energy communities uh, that was developed as part of the before mentioned Newcomers Project. And if you are in any way interested uh, in the Newcomers Project or in the Our Energy Platform or in the project that I develop now as part of the OE4BW, please do not hesitate to contact me. I'll be happy to help and share information. And you have the key links uh, on this slide. Now the third key ingredient of the OE4BW is about global. It's about connecting stakeholders from all around the world. And here we do not need any deeper explanations or stories. We just need to show the statistics because the statistics really speaks in favor of this ingredient. We have like some numbers here. You can see on this map the number of projects involved in OE4BW this year and their geographical location. I'll not go into details here, but I'm sure we agree that uh, the OE4BW program is really simply a global program. On this slide, you can see the 11 hub coordinators who are supporting these pairs of developers and mentors that work on the implementation and then later on the promotion of their projects under the OE4BW umbrella. And yes, I'm on that slide as well, as I'm the proud co-coordinator of the Topical Hub on Energy, Biodiversity and Sustainable Living. Uh, this is a hub that we are running together with the inspiring Jenrin Wetzler, who is the Assistant Director of Open Education at Creative Commons. And you can see us both here in the second row. This hub that I mentioned is the hub on energy, biodiversity and sustainable living which means uh, that the projects that are part of this hub deal with, uh, with these topics. And we, uh, in this year, we have nine really wonderful projects that have very different goals and that um, combine very different activities from creating new open educational resources to reusing, remixing, revising existing resources 
to developing some um, innovative um, open pedagogy aspect or designing some advocacy policy development uh, in relation to open, like the example of my project. We cover a really diverse set of topics in this hub from the clean energy, energy communities, deforestation, biodiversity, conservation. Uh, then we have a really interesting project uh, from India on plant tissue culture, angiosperm taxonomy, including growth and um, sustainable living. There is one more thing I'd like to mention uh, at the end of my presentation, last but not least. Uh, it's the, the same university uh, that's running, that has initiated the OE4BW program, that's University of Nova Gorica, has also launched an inspiring international master's degree program in 2020. It's titled Leadership in Open Education. And I'm highly privileged to be able to be part of it. I'm enrolled now in the first year of the program. And from the Earth Day's perspective, from the perspective of building a better society, uh, I can share with you that studying leadership in open education at the University of Nova Gorica is really a wonderful and unique opportunity that lets you explore the benefits of open education from the pedagogical, from the policy and strategic, the technological and instructional design point of view. In order to be successful on the global scale in meeting the SDG targets, and in actually making this world a better place, I think we need more leaders in open education. And I'm looking forward to becoming one soon and uh, have the ability to inspire all those interested in the intersection of open education and earth-related challenges uh, to check out this master's program at the University of Nova Gorica website. I'm afraid uh, my time is running out now a bit, but there's still so much um, I'd like to say, uh, so much information to share. So uh, thank you again for your attention and let me know your thoughts, your comments, perhaps your questions or your suggestions for potential future earthly collaboration. Thanks again for this kind invitation and a successful Earth Day week. Bye.